Hello, boys and girls. I'm going to have a little chat with you today about a film I just watched. A little film called The Suicide Squad, written and directed by James Gunn. Maybe you've heard of him. He's directed uh, small indie films like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2. He was uh, then canceled because he said some words over Twitter. And he's back now with a vengeance. And we're going to talk about his new achievement, his new film, The Suicide Squad. Not Suicide Squad. That was years ago, and we try to forget about that one. This is The Suicide Squad. And um, the film is about, what is it about? Well, let me look at IMDb. It's usually a good spot to find out what a film's about. Supervillains Harley Quinn, Bloodsport, Peacemaker, and a collection of nutty cons at Belle Reve Prison join the super secret, super shady Task Force X as they are dropped off at the remote enemy infused island of Corto Maltese. Going into this movie, we're going to talk about this movie. I was so excited for the first Suicide Squad film and was so disappointed (laughs) after walking out of the movie theater. But when I heard that they were remaking Suicide Squad and that James Gunn was attached as the mastermind, as the writer-director... If you're the writer and director of a movie, you pretty much get to be called a mastermind by me. When I heard that James Gunn was the mastermind of this movie, I was so incredibly excited. And going into the movie, in my mind, I was thinking, okay, R-rated, very violent, it's what I've heard. I'm thinking this movie is going to be a cross between maybe The Hunt, like Deadpool 2, Guardians of the Galaxy, for sure, and The Boys. I have five fingers, but I only named four properties. This film, coming out of it, I'd say it was a solid four stars. Solid four stars, I'd say. Maybe just four stars. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we're going to extrapolate where we're coming from here. This movie had a great cast. Phenomenal cast. One of the best casts in a film that I've seen in a long time. Cast check. The story. Well, the story is... Um, usually what happens in a story is you, you take characters and you move through events and these events change a character. These characters were changed. I felt for these characters. Not a crazy amount, not, not an insane amount, but I felt for them. More than most films, okay? I'd say that's a, a check mark. The... Actual events, the uh, the political. Uh, I have a thing when movies uh, tell me things when they uh, exposit to me. I just tend to tune out <laughs> automatically. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's Christopher Nolan writing the dialogue. It doesn't matter if it's Quentin Tarantino. If somebody starts telling me, you know, the reason they're doing this is back in the day, um, so and so, I just start zoning out and it's really hard for me to even try and pay attention so there was some political mumbo jumbo in this movie and some political families in Corto Maltese that's what they're saying the name of the island it's called there's some things that happens politically didn't quite follow everything but end of the world's coming some bad people are trying to take over the world You've seen that movie before. This is a very 
well-known story, right? This ragtag group, Greg, I can't talk. This ragtag group of characters going in to save the world. Uh, however, the flavor that James Gunn brings to his films is they is the main reason to see this movie. I'd say. Um, again, the cast, yes. The music, yes, great. But the overall vision and and style of James Gunn, I would say, is one of the biggest reasons to see this movie. I was, I would say, I was underwhelmed. This movie, for all the good things that I just said, here's where I really crap on the movie. It just crap on it. If you can crap on a four star movie, it's it's kind of difficult to. You really have to like balance, and you really have to. Um, crap intentionally or it's going to get everywhere. I mean, this is a four-star movie. You can't just easily crap on it. It's very technical craps that you need to make for this type of movie. Um, If you're at all interested in this movie, go watch it. But I guess why I would say I'm disappointed coming out of the film. I just watched the movie tonight. I'm dedicated to this craft of YouTube. I'm, 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 instead of sleeping right now, I record this gift for you. Um, It reminded me of Logan, honestly. I remember before I went to go see Logan, I saw so many uh, crazy good reviews, right? And you get hyped up to a degree. Maybe it's not helpful. Maybe you shouldn't see anything. I didn't look for the Logan reviews. I just saw numbers flashing at me like, oh, 10 out of 10, oh. (laughs) If 10 out of 10 is just flashing in your eyes, yeah, you can't really avoid that. I'm a movie fan. I, what are you just supposed to do? Avoid movie websites? Ain't going to happen. So I didn't look at any reviews for Logan, but I just had all these big numbers flashing out my eyes. So I go to see Logan. I'm like, eh, I really, really liked it. And I was like straining to really, really like it. And so I kind of was underwhelmed a little bit because my expectations were built so high. You've been there. You know what I'm talking about. Suicide Squad was a little bit like that. I would say I enjoyed this more than Logan, but in my mind, I know that Logan is better than what I remember. I just never gone back to watch it again. So I feel like if I was to watch Logan again, I'd like it way more. And if I was to watch Suicide Squad again, I would like it way more. That's kind of the hunch that I have. It very much reminded me of Logan. But I was I guess I was expecting more of like a boys vibe. I really like the TV show, uh, you know, Amazon's The Boys. I don't know why I said Amazon's. It was a graphic novel beforehand. Um, it's not like Jeff Bezos wrote The Boys. But anyways, I really, really like The Boys for how over the top it is, like how crazy over the top it is. Darkly comedic, how much you care for the characters. I think I cried at one point watching The Boys. Pretty sure that happened once. It, it, it Suicide Squad never quite reached those heights, and it's not it, trying to be exactly that, but it's similar enough to where I was a little disappointed. I wanted, it's kind of what I was craving. And this, to be sure, there are scenes in Suicide Squad that are like more violent, not more violent than what I was expecting, but it was very violent for most movies, right? They show things that are like, whoa, you know, they kind of temper it with humor. Um, but I was expecting more of something like The Boys. And then I didn't get that. Maybe I shouldn't have been expecting that exactly. Again, maybe if I watch, I believe that if I watch Suicide Squad again, I will like it more. So if you follow me in this rant, because I'm a great speaker, and this isn't rambling at all. This is absolutely 100% thought out, and this is 100% scripted, in case you weren't, in case you didn't know. Um, I am talking myself out of the f- solid four stars. Now I would just say kind of a four stars, not solid four stars, but a four stars. That's where I'm at with this, with the suicide squad at the moment. So I want you guys to leave a bunch of words below this video and I want you to tell me what you thought of su- The Suicide Squad. Because by the time you're watching this video, The Suicide Squad is probably out on HBO Max. Um, it's still Thursday night. Yeah, I paid to go see it in theaters. 
So it's not out on HBO Max yet. But I want to hear what you guys thought of the movie. Um, this doesn't mean I'm ending the video, by the way. I, I could still talk for another five hours. I doubt I will. But I loved John Cena in the movie. Something that comes to mind. I loved King Shark. I loved all of the characters for different reasons. Um, I felt like you connect with each of them. I guess, ah, oh man. For me, I feel like every other YouTuber is going to talk like for 30 minutes about how great this movie is and why it's so great, right? All of the great things about it. I probably agree with all the points. If you watch Chris, Chris Stuckman or Jeremy Johns explain all the reasons why this movie's so great, I probably agree with them. I guess for me, I feel like a glass half full type mood where I'm like, okay, well, this, this. I would definitely recommend it if you're interested, again. And I would say, in conclusion, to this 12-minute, totally scripted, and outlined video on my thoughts of The Suicide Squad, what I would say in parting is, if you've seen The Suicide Squad twice, did it get better or did it get worse? That's the question I'm leaving with you. And if you answer that question, then I know you made it all the way to the end of this video. And for that, I'm not going to say I'm deeply grateful because, of course, everybody watching this video made it all the way to the end. But if you made it all the way to this right here, what I'm saying with my words right now, then I really appreciate you. Put the word cookie in the comments so that I know you made it all the way. Thanks, buttholes. I'll talk to you later.